Uh, Greedy Williams still had to wait a little bit. Uh, he went 46 overall to the Cleveland Browns. So he goes in round two. You partner him with Denzel Ward. That's a great spot. Cleveland was 25th in the NFL in pass defense a year ago. So Greedy opposite Denzel Ward is a super athletic a cornerback tandem there in a division that is very winnable. And Cleveland has become one of the most intriguing places in the entire NFL for all of the right reasons now. When you've got Jarvis and Odell and Baker Mayfield, of course they went and signed Kareem Hunt. Nick Chubb is still there. When you've got guys like Miles Garrett, and I mentioned Denzel Ward who had a great rookie season, now you had Greedy. I mean, there's a lot to like in Cleveland, especially in a division where you're not sure what you're going to get out of Pittsburgh minus Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell. Uh, the Ravens have moved on from Joe Flacco. Is Lamar Jackson ready to, ready to be a franchise quarterback? And then the Bengals, they're going through a coaching change, but were a six-win team a season ago. The Browns are super interesting now. I mean, if absolutely nothing else, they're an intriguing team. And so Greedy goes to a spot where he's probably a day-one starter opposite Denzel Ward. Uh, and then Foster Morrow goes to Oakland. And remember, Oakland in 2020 will be playing in Las Vegas. Oakland's leading receiver a season ago was Jared Cook, their tight end. As we all know, Jared Cook is now Saints tight end, Jared Cook. So even though Foster Morrow was primarily a blocking tight end at LSU, I think we all recognize there's a reason Foster Morrow was primarily a blocking tight end at LSU because LSU really didn't throw the ball to the tight end. But when they made him a pass catcher, he showed he was more than capable, and I think he's going to an awesome situation in Oakland. I know a lot of people just recoil when they hear the Raiders because of how that franchise has been mismanaged. But I'm talking about stepping into an offense with an offensive-minded head coach with a, a, a settled quarterback there with Carr uh, and a, an offense that last year had its tight end as its leading receiver. Now you add Antonio Brown, take a little of the pressure off of the tight end. I just think these guys went to really good spots. It, it just it makes a lot of sense what, what the Saints did and with where the LSU guys that were picked are going.